This is a self-driving trip through the United States. A dream that has been in my heart for a long time. Departing from Los Angeles in the American West, crossing the Southwest, Central, and finally East of the United States. Through California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Virginia. Finally arriving in Washington, D.C. 12 days of travel over 6,000 kilometers. Everything on the way. National parks, churches, universities, spa towns, historical monuments, Indian reservations, cowboys, farms, etc. Like a historical picture of the United States suddenly unfolding in front of you. And to let you understand more deeply a country independent from the British North American colonies. How to become a United States like today? I use my own perspective and an interpretation of the impression that the United States has given me. Let my lens take everyone. Feel the United States in my eyes. Chao 加州的油都能到三块七毛的。Uh, we're still here in Tucson fueling up and had a, I slept like a rock last night. It was such a nice place to stay and such great people. So here we are, we're driving up to uh, a Saguaro National Park East in, old, in Tucson and it's about three miles from here. So supposedly there's a trail you can walk through and it's uh, a pretty place but it's starting to get warm so we'll see how long we'll be there. Saguaros, maybe 100, 200 years old. Some of them have holes in them, uh -huh. small holes. Uh -huh. The big holes are from birds. The small holes are bullet holes from cowboys shooting them. Carport. Yeah, the old west. Yep. Oh, okay. So this is pretty out here. Looks pretty quiet too. Must be really beautiful at night. And we should be getting to the park really soon. Yeah. 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 What time? Well, Saguaro. Yeah, yeah. National Park Service. Saguaro? National Park, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's my 
mesquite brush, mesquite. There's saguaro, choya, prickly pear. Wow. We're here at the center of the park. Let's go look at it. 我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的朋友们，我们的
The lady who talks about the cactus said if you had the patience to be around during monsoon and could stand there long enough and wait for it to happen, you can actually see them expand. They can oh, wow. soak up 200 gallons in three minutes. Wow. Amazing. And they don't really have water in them. They have this, what we call, sticky mucilaginous gummy that they store their moisture in. Mm -hmm. So you never want to eat a cactus off the desert because it isn't going to taste very good. It's very acid. It's going to make you sick. Mm -hmm. um, the only things that are edible, and you have to get them at a specific time of the year, mm -hmm. are the pads of the prickly, prickly pear. Prickly pear, right. right. Not the barrel cactus. No, the barrel cactus. <laughs> So 来三个小孩过来。So okay. uh, we uh, we didn't go into Saguaro National Park. We just stopped at the visitor center and, and uh, we talked to a wonderful volunteer there. Yeah, so we're we're going down to where there's more of a concentration. No, they're wild. They're wild? Yeah, people don't plant these things. No, these Why? are wild. Oh. But Why what they do, just, they do in the park, the park service, they have scientists and biologists uh, and botanists, you know, uh, plant. But no, oh. no, they want it. The, the per, the, one of the, thing, the great things about a national park is they try to keep it exactly the way it was when it was found. So it's so what you see is is how nature formed it. That's basically it. And only in uh, to, if the if the plants or the animals are threatened, do they move them around. And they have scientists do that to make sure that they're doing the right thing and, and uh, they can do it. Look at look at look at that. Okay. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. Let's park here and go take a look. Wow. 这个山上，太多太多太多太多的仙人住了。So this part of the park has the greatest concentration of the saguaro cactus because it's been untouched by nature and by man. So this is all natural. This is exactly how it looked for you know thousands of years. So this is this area down here is called a wash. Okay? This is a wash. So when it rains, the water comes off the mountain and rushes through here. So when you're when you're traveling in the desert, you have to pay attention to the weather. Because if you're down in a wash and there's a quick rain, the water can come down and you can get in, in a lot of trouble really quick. So you have to know what's going on when you go out in the wilderness. Well, 
the I think I had a pink G in it. It's land available here for sale. Oh, this is a lot of land for sale. It's really too hot. It's not even a bit of wind. 我们现在的时候要告别途商，然后直接奔十号高速走到下一个目的地。今天看看能开多久，也不知道能开到哪里，所以没有太多的计划，我们就继续走。今天有点遗憾的是，就是没有找到一个十八世纪的一个西班牙的教堂。最早的时候建立途商的时候，西班牙的传教士过来的，我们早上转了一圈没有看到，所以现在也不能回去了。马上我们就开始奔赴下一站的旅程，所以没有给大家展现一下那个最老最老十八世纪西班牙传教士的一个教堂，是有点遗憾。East。Yeah, El Paso. El Paso. Yeah. Yeah, we go El Paso. Yes. 下一站 ，El Paso， 特别靠近墨西哥的一个城市，它有一半的城市是在美国，有一半的城市在墨西哥。我老公说呢很危险，但是我特别想去，还想停在那儿一晚上